Hey, how's it going? It's Zena. I'm gonna read you the book, I Can't Seem to Find My Tail, by Diane Bowman. Pansy wandered around in the fog until she saw her friend, the frog. I can't seem to find my tail. Did your tail leave a trail? No, dear, it's not here. It may be under a log. Pansy looked right up at the tree where her friend, the bird, tweets joyfully. I can't seem to find my tail. Well, it's not here, sang the nightingale. Just sing, sing with me, a simple melody. Pansy walked on down to the sea where she saw her friend, the bee. I can't seem to find my tail. Is your tail straight as a nail like me, said the bee? Or is it cute and curly? Pansy wandered on and on until she saw her friend, the swan. I can't seem to find my tail. Do you use it as a sail? It's not gone, don't be alarmed. They swam off into the pond. Now the friends searched all together, hoping they would find an end to this dilemma and bring Pansy peace of mind. Now Pansy thought this must be a scheme, but things are not always what they seem. Then with the bright sunrise, Pansy opened up her eyes. She beamed and she screamed that it was only a dream. The moral to the story, though friends are different as can be, they all tried to help sweet Pansy like one big family. Did you know you could sing this entire book? It comes with a CD. Now that is cool. Story Cub believes there's no better way to get kids excited about reading than through the interaction between a parent and a child.